<laughs> You're so cute. Hey dolls. All right. So as you can see, I've got a new little friend right here. This is my new little ratty, Luna Rose. And I know you guys have a trillion questions about her, and that is the purpose of this video. This isn't the first rat that I've had. I actually had one a few years ago. Her name was Nala. Um, but just to cover the basics real quick, I recently got her on September the 2nd at um, Petco. And as you can see, she is very, very fidgety and very hyper. So. If she doesn't stay still in this video, just bear with me. Animals are animals and they don't like to cooperate, especially when you want them to. So if she keeps moving around and is very, very distracting, I do apologize for that. But I figured that I would do this video because you guys have been highly requesting it and you all have had a ton of questions. And also keep in mind that I am by no means a rat guru or professional or anything like that. Um, so please, please, please do your own research. Don't just take what I say for advice. If you are seriously thinking about getting a little ratty of your own, definitely, definitely look online, do your research, find from various different websites. Don't just look at one because um, you want to make sure that you are supplying the best life for your new little friend. So yes, she is female. She is about two months old and probably about three months now. And yeah, she keeps getting bigger and bigger and she's just a little fancy rat, black and white. And her tail is half black and half white. And without further ado, let's go ahead and answer some questions. I did post a picture on my Instagram account, Manda31409, and I asked you guys to ask questions. So let's go ahead and read through some of them. If I can, multitask here. She wants to like run and do all kinds of crazy stuff. What made you want to get her and how long will she live? Um, domestic rats, if taken good care of, they can live about three to five years, but I have heard of some that live up to eight. Um, so it just like all depends on the rat itself and when it's their time, it's their time. Um, and what made me want to get her, like I said, I had had one before. I have also had hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, rabbits. I've had all kinds of critters before. And I think my rat had to have been, I don't know, the most social one because gerbils, they're just too jumpy. They're hard to train. You can't really train hamsters. They're just kind of like a little lazy. They're not really too active. Um, and I just found that myself in particular, my personal preference, I like rats because they're very social. You can teach them to do tricks. You can train them kind of like a dog and have like the pet that is very social and you can play with them and, and they're also very, very active. So yeah, that is kind of why I wanted a little ratty because I, I had missed having one, I guess you could say. Does she love the house? I'm not sure what you mean by house, but you, I probably assume that you are meaning her cage. Um, I have mixed feelings about her cage. She is in a cage that is barely big enough for her. Um, once she is full grown, you are supposed to have certain dimensions for a rat cage. They're supposed to have a lot of room to climb, a lot of room to run around, and a lot of room to jump. Um, but with her cage, I honestly don't have the room for a much bigger cage um, however the one that she is in right now with her current size is perfect um, she can run up and down she doesn't get caught in anything or anything like that I really want to get a single Critter Nation cage it's just a brand of cage is the Critter Nation um, that is like the ideal size that you want when you get a rat um, because they can house a single Critter Nation can house up to five or six rats I believe um, full grown but she's not full grown just yet so she's still kind of you know growing into things um, but yes I she does love her cage she loves when I'm changing things up and that's the thing when you have a cage with rats you always got to change things up or they're gonna get bored and start chewing on the wires and it's really bad for them and they'll just start chewing on things that are just nonsense and not good for them so you want to always change it up replace their little hammocks um, give them chew toys give them uh, toys to play with, things to do, little, just little fun stuff to keep them occupied and busy um, because you don't want them to get too bored because if they get bored they can also get depressed especially with the fact that I did only get one rat and not two. Rats are very 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 social um, when it comes to being with other rats or human interaction in general 
and the reason I didn't get to is because she is going to have a lot of human interaction. I play with her probably two to three hours a day um, and then I play with her a lot at night as well. Yeah, so you always want to make sure that if you aren't going to be very, very, very socially interactive um, with your rat that you do want to get to, preferably same-sex pair. Um, so either two boy or two girl from the same litter. Be very careful if you get a boy or girl and then a couple months later you get another one. Nine times out of ten they probably will fight because they have a new smell and they're in a new environment and they basically want to be top dog I guess you could say like they want to take over and be alpha and say oh I don't want you in my house this is my house and then they start fighting so keep that in mind if you are getting a little pet rat. How much did you spend on her? The rat itself is only about $10 roughly, here or there. They do have smaller sized ones, they do have larger sized ones. The fancy rats like this, um, the reason they have the smaller sizes, those are just younger ones. Uh, the younger you get them, the better, because then you can train them as they get older, and then you can kind of have your own pet that you want, just like a little dog. You want to get it when it's a puppy, so you can train it however you so choose. And she is already litter box trained and everything like that. She is learning so fast, and you can see she finally calmed down for a second, but she is she's doing really good. What type of training do you do with her? Right now, it's just a basic um, little, oh, come here, climb up my arm, and go back in your cage, and just the, the basics. It took me like a day or two to shoulder train her, and by doing that, you can just take little Cheerios or just little rat treats or whatever. Um, be very careful because there are certain things you can't give them, so make sure you do your research. But there are rat training videos on YouTube, which I have looked up myself, so if you want to learn how, you train them pretty much like you do a dog. You know, if they do something good, like if you say, okay, come here, Luna, come here, Luna, and you have a little treat in your hand, you say, come here, Luna, and then you make a little, and then when they go there, you make a little clicking sound, like, and then give them the treat. So they know that that was good, and then they associate the clicking sound, the, with the treat, which means food, so it's good, and food is supposed to be, you know, a good sign. So, especially with potty training, if you've seen that they've used their little potty, you do the and give them a treat. Is it expensive to take care of her? I'm going to say yes, just because there is a lot involved. Um, you can't just consider just the rat. You have to consider um, chew toys, bedding, um, if you decide to litter box train them, you need a litter pan, treats, food, um, if you want to invest in material to make your own hammocks, or if you want to buy fleece as cage liner, which is what I do, because I have her her cage lined with fleece. And the reason you use fleece and not like other fabrics is if they decide to chew on it, the fibers and stuff aren't like stringy so they don't get wrapped around their teeth. Her favorite treats. Okay, for training treats, I love to use Cheerios. Uh, Multigrain Cheerios are the best to use, but um, regular Cheerios work too. So some of her favorite treats... These are equivalent to like the little Gerber puffs. They're like baby snacks um, for little infants and toddlers, toddlers and stuff. But these are just the cheaper brand. Um, and these are the blueberry and purple sweet potato ones. And they're just kind of like, they taste like blueberry Cheerios kind of. Like they, they taste like a cereal. So um, humans can eat these too. These are edible for humans. She loves those. And she also loves these little yogurt bites. These are very similar to yogis. And yogis are made specifically for like critters and stuff. But these are like ones made for infants. You don't want to give them too much though because some rats can't handle dairy. So like their stomach doesn't tolerate it as easily. So you want to be very, very, very careful. You don't want to overfeed them that. And then I found these on someone else's video on YouTube where they had a lot of rats and their rats really enjoyed these whisker lickens, their little cat treats. And these are the soft ones that are the chicken and cheese flavor. You do not want to give the rats um, seafood flavored ones, so no tuna, no salmon, no nothing like that because it is very high in protein. And with rats, if they have too much protein, it's really bad for them. This one says, does she sleep a lot? Um, you, she... I want to say she sleeps a lot, but she's also very active. I think it's about equal. 
probably 12 hours sleep, 12 hours of activity. Um, it, it's, it's about equal right now, um, which I thought was kind of weird because she is still young. I thought it would be kind of like she's sleeping more, but she, like I said, she has a lot of human interactions, so she's um, very active. I do eventually want to train her to where she is like a house rat I guess you could say or like she just sits on my shoulder and I can go about my business like editing videos or um what have you and she can just like sit with me and just be my little um companion um and then just have her be in her cage when I'm not playing with her or when I'm sleeping or whatever since she is litter trained it is already to the point where it's so awesome because I can kind of just take her out play with her for a while and I don't have to worry about her making messes on my bed and things like that Luna Rose is a rat. You're not scared of rats, and she doesn't bite or anything. No, I'm not scared of rats at all. Um, I think that people underestimate their potential. I think that rats are, rats are very, very, very intelligent creatures, and ironically, they are some of the cleanly, like the cleanest pets you could ever have. Because, like I said, they're litter box trained. Every time after I play with her, she's constantly you know cleaning herself you know like a cat does just like licking and cleaning and they always want to be clean and that's how people just like get confused sometimes because they associate rats with alleyways and trash and dumpster diving and garbage and sewers and grossness when in all actuality they are very very loyal clean creatures and I, I think that people don't give them enough credit for what they are how do others react when they find out you have her? Um, some people think it's totally awesome. Other people are disgusted and they think it's the grossest thing ever. I've had people just say, oh, you have a rat, I'm unfollowing you because that's absolutely disgusting. No, it, it's it's really not. It's They're animals and they, they need love too. I'm sorry if you guys are so crazy distracted by her. Luna, Luna, come here. Hey, she's... She's being really cute right now. Come here, shoulder. I did want to touch this in here really quick, is that um, rats' teeth never stop growing. So if you have a rat of your own and you weren't aware of this, or if you are planning on getting a rat, their teeth never stop growing. So you always want to make sure you are giving them um, chew toys constantly to chew on, or their lab blocks in their food, those are great because not only um, do they have like the certain nutrients and stuff that they need to be, you know, healthy little ratties, but they also are hard to eat and hard to chew. So it like will help grind their teeth down while they eat them. Um, oh, there she goes cleaning. She is so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, you always want to make sure that they have something to chew on um, so that they're not, their teeth are stay filed down. Yeah, she is cleaning herself. It's so cute. She does this all the time to stay clean. And yes, her claws are still kind of a little bit sharp. My last rat that I have actually let me clip them. I just use like little fingernail clippers when I used to do hers. She is not to the point yet where she stays calm enough long enough. So I can't necessarily keep hers filed down just yet. But they make things called lava ledges. And they're just little ledges that you can screw to the side of the cage. And if they jump up and down on those, it kind of helps keep their nails filed down. I've also seen people take like little concrete tiles and put them like in the corner of their cage or something. So not only when the rat is too hot, it can kind of sprawl out on it to cool down, but um, when it walks across it, the concrete will help keep the nails filed down as well. So I think I am going to wrap up this Q&A because she's getting very antsy. I am more than happy to do a second one of these if you guys are really interested in that. Like I said, do, do your research. I probably have watched a total of over 300 YouTube videos in the last month. Um, that's not an over-exaggeration at all. I, I have definitely done a lot of research and I'm just sharing my information that I've kind of gathered from a lot of different places. And there is so much more that I want to share with you guys, but she is being very, very skittery right now and just very active. So I am going to put her back in her cage and let you guys go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a part two. And also give this video a thumbs up for Luna. 
I also will be doing a rat cage tour, so stay tuned to my channel for that. Feel free to subscribe for future little rat videos. And also, I did want to mention one more thing. Just because I got a new pet, it does not at all mean that I have neglected my little rebel boy. Um, he is my baby. I love him to death. And keep in mind that also, pets are like family, and you should never favor one over the other because... You should love them all equally, and they all deserve equal attention. Rebel gets equal attention, Luna gets equal attention, and I give them their own little snacks, their own little treats, and most importantly, love. They just... Luna is kind of the the talk lately because it's something new. You know, when you get a new haircut, people are going to talk about you for a while, for a couple days, because you look different, and it's new, and it's fresh. But after a while, it'll kind of just die down and become a little bit more natural and normal. And for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, Rebel is doing a lot better. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can head over to my Instagram. He did have a little bit of a medical problem. It wasn't, like, super severe or anything like that. He just had um, an anal gland abscess, so an abscessed anal gland, and I took him to the vet we got everything worked out but just updating you guys if you saw the post on my Instagram he is doing a lot better now so he goes in for his follow-up appointment on Monday so they should get him in the clear and say that he's healing really well with that being said uh, subscribe for future pet videos and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you